Globally, the NBA is the fastest growing American sport. With the game now being played on every continent at a national level, it holds a lot of potential to become the first American sport to be accepted by an international audience. On a national level though, it remains subdued, with current NFL ratings still confirming football as America's first choice, over double the NBA's view account. Having been founded after World War II in 1946, as civil rights and pan-Africanist movements gained popularity, integration came fairly quickly to the NBA. Within a year, the race barrier was broken when the New York Knicks had drafted Wataru Misaka, a Japanese-American, though he played just three games before being released. In 1955, the league would get its first of many African-American players to lift the Larry O'Brien Trophy, when Earl Lloyd and Jim Tucker won it with the Philadelphia 76ers, then known as the Syracuse Nationals. Born on 11th December 1932, Jim Tucker grew up in the South and got his big break when the UK scouts spotted him playing at his high school. By the time Jim joined the Syracuse Nationals, Earl Lloyd, who was born on April 3rd, 1928, had already made his debut to become the first African American to play in the NBA. Earl and Jim played together for another two years, but would not win another championship. Jim retired after the 1957 season and spent the rest of his years as a businessman passing away from Alzheimer's disease on 14th May 2020, aged 87. Earl continued playing for another three years he took up coaching with the Detroit Pistons to become one of the few African-American coaches after Bill Russell first did it. Unfortunately, he was unable to live up to this role and moved to becoming a scout for the same organization. Earl was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2003 and at the age of 86, passed away on 26 February 2015. Already been considered an all-time great before he retired, Bill Russell was known for his defensive plays when he was appointed the first African-American head coach in 1966 by the Celtics. Born on February 12, 1934, Bill grew up in Louisiana and would have an orthodox rise to the NBA. Like Michael Jordan years later, basketball did not come naturally to him in his early years. But after working on his game in high school, Bill's potential began to show promise in college before getting drafted in 1956 by the Celtics and representing his country at the Olympics that same year, taking the gold medal. His playing accolades will probably never be surpassed in the near future winning an unbelievable 11 championship rings, of which 8 were won back-to-back, -back, and 5 MVP awards. His managerial years would bring him another two championships in 1968 and 1969. Arguably, the greatest contribution one person has ever made to the game of basketball. Unsurprisingly, Russell has been awarded many accolades since retiring completely from the game, including a Presidential Medal of Freedom and being inducted into the Hall of Fame twice, first as a player in 1975 and more recently as a coach in 2021.